Hi everybody, it's Andrew here again for GamerGuides.com and welcome to the latest in our Brave the Default Strategy Guide video series. In this particular video we're going up against and showing you how to beat the very, very irritating and very annoying Victor and Victoria from the Eternian Central Command section of the game. Now, these guys absolutely wield you the first time, but this time you have to fight them to the end. And believe you me, they won't be easy. Victor, the, the guy in the white suit, has 80,000 HP and is weak to dark. And Victoria, the little one with the red hair bands and stuff, she's got 70,000 HP and is weak to light. Now this is a long and difficult fight, so your proper preparation is imperative here. You need to make sure you've got your team whipped up to shape before you even consider fighting these guys. So ensure straight away that all your members are wearing star pendants to nullify the poison damage that they like to use. You're also going to want to focus your attacks solely on Victoria at the very beginning, the smallest one in the red again first. So make sure any special moves and special move parts that you've unlocked are all light tipped across your entire team for that elemental damage boost as well. And make sure you do, as I said, you do for all character special moves. Now a really crafty trick here and to basically get them to damage each other is to cast reflect on each team member one at a time, starting with the healer. As what will happen is this will bounce their attacks magics back onto the other person. So for example, if you cast Reflect and Victor casts you know, a light spell, it will bounce off that character if it was aimed at them and it will actually hit Victoria who's weak to light and doing an extra damage boost free of charge, which is quite funny and quite nice. However, there's a caveat with that tactic in that if you then attempt to cast a Cura spell on the person who also has Reflect active, you will inadvertently heal one of the two enemies with that spell because that magic attack will effectively bounce off that person that you want to heal. So the way around it is that you need to use a potion, a high potion or an X potion to manually heal that particular character. Otherwise you're going to give yourself a slap on the forehead for accidentally wasting some of the damage that you've done. Now with regards to their attacks, they've got quite a lot of attacks under their sleeve. Their real kicker is Corpse. Uh, that is a real pain in the arse to get around because effectively there's no way to dodge it at this point of the game. So your character will, whether you like it or not, be KO'd in a number of terms as indicated by the number above their head. So make sure that you're getting the most out of your moves because your character, whether you like it or not, will die at that point. So make sure if you're, if for example, your Salve Maker Stroke Kaler, if that's what you're using, is hit, then you can use an Auto Revive Potion on yourself in one of the moves beforehand. And while it won't give you full health again, it will at least auto bring you back into the game again. And make sure you do any compounds as well for reviving any of the other teammates because they'll get a 9999 HP revive, which is a full health boost straight off the bat. So just keep that move in mind. It is a very long fight, so make sure you stick in there, you keep healing, you keep attacking, and they are weak to physical attacks as well. Um, not as much as other characters, but at least keep hitting them to the best of your abilities. It is a long video, ours is around about oh, 20 something minutes long, so it is a long watch. However, what we find is almost a bit of a pattern going on. By the time we kind of got around about the 10 minute mark, we got into a bit of a groove, um, and it was just kind of really a case of just making that pattern work until they both went down. If you find this video to be of help, we have absolutely zero doubt that you'll find the rest of our guide which this is taken from, a complete guide to Bravely Default available exclusively at GamerGuides.com and it's a massive guide and it could cover every single thing you could probably ever want to know about Bravely Default so we'd really love it if you check it out. If you've got any particular feedback on this video or any of our videos then please let us know at our GamerGuides.com forum on Twitter, Facebook or of course on our YouTube comments section as well. We look at everything and we reply to as much as possible. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you've enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.
take care. Bye-bye.